Now let's start benchmarking, all right? It's not a very good idea to let people switch between different the different companies and so on. Okay, this is interesting if, if I'm looking at one particular company, but it's not useful for comparing, right? And benchmarking, that's all about good comparisons. All right, so what do we want to do now? We want to have, um, you know, companies side by side. So we already selected a couple of, so basically we have a list of companies here. So it's the same drop down here, the same slicer. Uh, okay. Only this time it allows the multiple selections. And, you know, here you can actually just select maybe two of them, right? And they are added in the tables visual here. So, oh, how did they magically appear on the visual to allow for this comparison? All right, we've used the company as a grouping field. All right, so all the Zebra BI visuals support grouping, much like the, ma the native matrix visual. So you can do similar things with the native matrix visual or with the Zebra BI uh, tables visual. Uh, and you simply take your company and put it into the group placeholder. All right, this will create groups in tables. So it's basically a cross tab with several groups and because yeah only two companies are selected here voila i've got a comparison side by side general motors and tesla all right and it's uh already already quite interesting uh, now now we can see a couple of things all right of course much 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 more revenue here on, on at gm than tesla however Already, when we come to gross income, the gap is like shrinking. So, you know, it's already 30 versus 20 billion. Uh, so this is in billion, right? Um, however, the margin is the margin, the relative margin compared to uh, the revenue, right? It's much higher in Tesla than in GM. Um, like on average for the whole year of 2022. And then we go down a bit. Wow, here, here we already have 13 million and here we have 10 million. So already with the, um, uh, on the a bit comparison, uh, yeah, Tesla actually has uh, more value here. And now we've also put this little tool tip um, over over this, over the Zebra BI visual, and in the tooltip there's another Zebra BI visual. Uh, Zebra BI visual. This time it's the charts visual uh, to actually add the context. You know what's the growth of this um, KPI of EBIT here, and we can see, you know, in the example of Tesla, um, yeah, uh, phenomenal growth, right? Uh, it's just crazy. Um, uh, Heads, heads off to Elon and um, yeah, here um, with GM uh, also in green, but you know, the growth is is declining slowly uh, as you can see. So this is something you see the like the time series, the longer time series, when you add more data, you know, you add context. You, first, you have the comparison. Now you understand much more than, than if you would uh, if you just looked at your own financials and, uh, you know, just one year and comparison to previous year and so on, right? Now you're comparing yourself against a competitor. And now, so you have another comparison, right? Each comparison actually adds, um, adds to your understanding, right? Adds to your understanding. So the more context you give to your own numbers, the more value you can extract from the comparisons and and, and so on. The more valuable uh, the whole BI solution becomes, right? So this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing this webinar. And the more context you provide, also in terms of you know um, time series and so on, the more it will be understandable. All right. So back to EBIT. Yeah, we see now the margins here are basically. Um, yeah, unfortunately declining, uh, unfortunately for, for GM declining uh, in uh, in the last year, but Tesla growing quite, yeah, quite, quite healthy. Um, looks quite uh, impressive actually. Um, yeah, and now you can do the same here. So, and what is this here? This is just a bookmark. This is a simple trick. Uh, all right. 
when you select a pair of companies, uh, we simply bookmarked this state, state with those two companies, and then we then we've used a slicer um, for those bookmarks. So basically, we have four bookmarks here for the four, uh, you know, comparison pairs, and each bookmarks simply has a different selection of the companies in the drop down uh, for the company selection. That's it. I mean, this is the trick here. Uh, all right. So this was the first attempt. This was our first attempt at the comparison. Um, let me just browse through the next thing. All right. Um, yeah, typically the income statements, you know, would be reported in, in tables uh, with lots of years and so on. So this is just one attempt at a classical table, but uh, you know, it's not still, it's not just dull numbers that are really hard to understand and read and so on. So at least, you know, when you have a table, use a visualization, like a, at least a simple plus minus chart to understand like, the growth rates, right? So, okay. Now I see some story here for the Walgreens company. What do I see actually? Um, yeah. In 2020. Yeah tough times for everyone, COVID and, and, and so on, right? Uh, declining revenue uh, from from the previous year, so from 19 to, to 20, but then great growth from 20, uh, from 20 to 21, right? 8%. Um, um, so that was actually uh, minus 10.9. Uh, then it was like this. All right. And then uh, from 22, uh, year over year to 21, uh, yeah, well, more or less, uh, more or less, uh, yeah, uh, not not much growth, but more, more or less same same level here, and and so on, right? And the same thing here with the gross income and so on. And now, of course, you can um, at least uh, see those comparisons for all the companies. Well, Walmart, uh, you know, uh, was not negative. Uh, in 2020 but but like uh, looks like the same pattern great growth uh, you know 21 less growth 22 okay but again you see it's hard to compare this um if you don't have all the companies at once on the same page right that's that's important and also like showing the trends you know comparing years um it's still better to do it with charts. Okay, so my next attempt here would be actually to combine uh, those approaches, to combine the tables with charts on the same report page. Uh, so that would be uh, that would be my next attempt where we actually have a short PNL. It's not actually a PNL. It's a yeah. Well, it is actually a short PNL with your re revenue minus COGS, gross income, and so on. So we understand. So it's the basic um, um, income statement very visual very short uh but then um the trends are presented with charts all right and this is now the zebra bi charts visual and okay so this this is the zebra bi charts visual that does a really good job at comparing and presenting multiple kpis or multiple um you know uh, data categories on the same visual, right? We do understand now that for Tesla, first of all, everything looks green. So it's great growth in all the KPIs, right? So you see sales is growing, but also gross income, you know, pre-tax income, uh, net, uh, net income even, even, you know, more in terms of uh, uh, relative growth here, um, which of course uh, it's not quite self-understandable i guess well uh, compare that to um general motors right yeah that's the famous year of 2020 unfortunately uh but then yeah recovering um here with this year but you see here the sales revenue chart is so much bigger than the gross income chart right okay which means smaller margins this is now scaled pixel perfectly right um, all those KPIs are presented in the right scale so that we really understand, all right, how much gross uh, income compared to sales revenue and so on. So, you know, net revenue is, of course, much, much smaller than the, the total revenue, right? But then, of course, if you want to, like, and really see the details here, you can still click. And um, that's the, again, out-of-the-box 
feature of the Zero BI charts visual that will just simply present a bigger chart to understand, all right, what's going on within, you know, net income or other. So you can then simply browse through all the KPIs. But first, you have this understanding of the relations between those um, uh, KPIs, basically, right? How did I do that? All right. You see, again, here, Zebra BI has the grouping placeholder. So it's basically the uh, placeholder uh, for, for to create groups of data categories in the chart. So without this, you would just have the normal, you know, uh, the normal charts like this is just one chart, right? Like that. So Zebra BI charts uh, packs a lot of different chart types here. So, you know, uh, here's just one chart. It's just much bigger, right? But since you have space, and for the benchmarking purposes, it is, you know, great if you can then just simply uh, take your KPIs and put them into the grouping placeholder. Voila. This will be all of my KPIs, right? Um, I think I have, I have uh, uh, those were the, okay, those are the KPIs. Let's go for uh, the accounts, maybe a, uh, account groups, right? So a little bit higher level. Okay, that's actually what I had. So the revenue, gross income, and so on, voila. General Motors, Tesla, all in green. Um, all right, let's check the Coca-Cola. Great, again, famous year 2020, not good for practically, uh, yeah, most of the market, uh, I guess, uh, except some high-tech companies. <laughs> Um, but yeah, good growth here compared to previous year. Um, so 10% growth of the revenue, 6.9 and so on versus Pepsi all in green, also 2020 and so on. Right. And it's a complete picture here. All right. Um, so that's kind of the power of, of the visualization here. And now if you go one step further, one step further, now let's use this idea to actually uh compare now visually with the trends the pairs okay coca-cola versus pepsi all right now we have actually eight charts so basically i have the visual it's still the same zebra bi charts visual that now actually has two data fields in the grouping placeholder okay so this one the previous one only <laughs> only had the account groups right so it was just one dimension basically and this is what it, what's called the small multiples all right and now this one here this is actually like an um advanced version of the small multiples because right now i actually have two fields so basically i get a two-dimensional matrix visual matrix um that has the company pair here and then all of the KPIs up, right? So now I can see, all right, the sales revenue, compare it to gross income, maybe DA and so on, understand the situation in Coca-Cola. However, I, I can now visually compare it to Pepsi, right? So now it's getting interesting, much more revenue here at Pepsi, but okay, also gross income, ABDA getting closer, right? It's already, so it's still bigger here, but EBIT already larger in uh, Coca-Cola than Pepsi, right? So um, yeah, now we'd have to dig digger, uh, dig deeper. You know, there are probably some, um, so, uh, you know, some SGNA expenses, you know, much higher um, with Pepsi than in Coca-Cola. Um, I don't know, marketing expenses, uh, something like that, or, or logistics or something um we would have to check but we have all the, the detailed information so actually we can do this analysis further further on